Ladies and gentlemen, you need all of these good things in your life. See, like says, I started doing all these things. Now I'm not sad, but I'm still completely broke. Well, start with the money. Start, start with the sleep, actually. Europe? Advanced? I'll just take vitamin D supplements. All right, that's the solution. Instead of healthy choices, I'm going to take a pill. This, this is Capital Conquest in Europe Advanced. Uh, Auto 90 with an expert automated bot. True random dice. Fog and Blizz is on. Portal's lights are off. No bots to start. Thankfully, I'm in the mid position. That's white. Okay, so pocket blizzards here are actually kind of significant. Scotland also a one point on Iceland. This is actually kind of nuts. Uh, my cap options suck, though. I don't hate Russia if no one's coming in off the bottom. I want to cap there. That's less good. But it is also kind of a fulcrum um, from all the action happening here. Which do I like more? So I'm third. If I take that four, can I get a turn one Africa? Hmm. I like Russia better. The song that just ended was called Human Nature by Michael Jackson. I put on like a Michael Mix or something to listen to a bunch of this. Alzika says, I focus too much on money. I don't leave the house that much, but I do have a home gym. Bought my second house. <laughs> Learning that money isn't everything. Different people, right? Different people have different things that trigger them emotionally. Um, I'll tell you, if I had a second house, I would be feeling a lot less stress currently, but... We hope that we're almost on the other side of the financial struggles, and then I can worry about my fitness again. I've been I've been working on lifting more recently, you know, getting back into the lifting. Is it bad working out three times a day for five days a week? Three times a day? Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what you're how you're defining working out, of course. As a person with manic depression, I can tell you the only way to help your depression you have to want to feel better. The choice element of it. Very true. I, I would fully agree with that, Spud. Okay, we do see the blue cap. We see the red cap. That's it. Red takes mid. Black spawned with a five and he didn't cap it. That's actually very interesting to me. You're a basketball player and a track runner? Okay, well, if, I mean, if you're training, <laughs> is it bad to be training for a sport? I can fall asleep in five minutes, no name. I actually, my sleep schedule is really good. It's really solid. We, um, we wake up around eight, feed the cats. So I, I, I'm not, be, I haven't been doing too many, too many late nights. Okay, orange is in noob corner. Cool. Oh, yeah, true random. Huh. Did you stream like 5 a.m. two weeks ago? What was it? What was I doing? I was up so late. Okay, Green's Gascony. He's realizing it's true random. Just doing game after game. It was a vibe stream. <laughs> what we talk about mouse play? 
Oh my goodness. So my workout split, I do a five day bro split when I'm actually lifting. Um, chest, back, arms, shoulders, legs. That's what I like. Where do you think black is? It looks like red is fucking pummeling something. Oh, I'm not I'm not heavy right now. I'm out of shape. I gained a bunch of weight after stopping uh having a labor job. So I'm still working on like Oh wow, I'm really fat. What do I do about that? And you know, I have a fucking curve in my spine, which is also, you know, not ideal. I want, can I play a Michael Jackson playlist, please? Thank you. That's never no we're talking. Making half a million dollars and never leaving the house. Yeah, I mean they they often say work life balance, right? Dude, my dice are atrocious. All right. Martin says, if you answer this already, show me the video. I read a book called The 40 Laws of Power. In the book, the author claims that one of the key differences between humans and animals is the ability to court and persuade others into doing things that are favorable for oneself and risk that's the negotiation part. Nice. 
In recess to the negotiation part with your opponents, I know that you praise and distinguish good players for negotiating. Very skilled novices or beginners for negotiating poorly or not at all, right? I'm not sure what the question What's the question there, though? You guys like 48 Laws of Power? It didn't grip me. I didn't really like... I've read a bunch of that sort of stuff, and that one didn't really speak to me. You know what I think it is, though? To be fair, I don't think I crave power. I think, in fact, I, I very much... Whatever the opposite of desiring power is... You play man in the mirror. I, I It's probably on this playlist. Yes. You gotta wait three more songs. It's coming up on the playlist, bro. I really don't, I really don't desire power. I think power is, the desire of power is actually something I think weak people do. Okay, black loss is capital. I've been, I've been not paying enough attention to what's going on in the game. We don't actually know where the black cap is though, do we? <sighs> Get through that 70 is nothing on a cap. Blue? No way. You think blue is nothing on his capital? Are you tricking me, Cyberlink? Don't trick me. All right. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go for the Yankolius. So there was an inside fortify. Hmm. Don't you fucking trick me, chat. I will not be hornswoggled by chat. What software do I use to draw? It's called the Screen Marker and Recorder app. All right, so blue is the type of person who doesn't put troops on their capital. Oh, can I do this with my foot? Put troops on your capital. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Ah. All right. We fixed it. That's what's wrong with the foot. All right. Orange is being a homie. That is multitasking, yes. When you steal that cap and blue gon' quit the game now. Quit the game. Oh, look at those dice! Holy shit! Oh, those dice are terrible! Oh no! Those dice were so bad! <laughs> you see that shit? I lost 13. Oh, man, I lost 9 out of 7. Woo! Oh, yeah, definitely. It's all right, Cyberlink. You were looking out while I made myself another refreshing beverage. All right, does red... See, red and orange are the power players. Blue has to be pissed about that one. I, he should blame you, Cyberlink. All right, I need the power question. 
Uh, isn't risk a game where you're trying to outsmart your opponents? You seem to like that a lot. Isn't that a form of power play? Um, hmm. Well, what do we like about games? Yeah, I definitely like winning games. Um, that's a huge off-cap stack. Holy fuck. Well, people, I have to hit the sack. Hope you will kill the REM song. But you do a Pete's pick. I'll, say, I'll do it for you next time. What is Red's income? 23. 20, Jeevas. 23. Good night, Steve. Sleep well. Yeah? Wow. Okay, green sense. Nice kill. Take more joy in winning against a good player than I do against beating noobs. I think I have a different view of what winning is to you, but that's okay. No win chance. Well, okay. I play a lot of risk, right? I play funsies games on stream. I play the best of the best in tournaments. I play noobs on the show. One thing I one thing that's really important to me, Arkin, is um what is the value proposition of my time? So in this particular case, I will play noobs over middling good players. Like grand remember, grandmasters according to the ranking system are like half the way there to me if that right so a ranking system gm is like still a noob to me kind of so playing experts intermediate plus on these lobbies all that does is make me in take take a card past stalemates which i can do but that's not a fun show for me i'd much rather have a fucking crazy epic slugfest on these settings and yeah i get a lot of seconds I'd much rather get a second after 40 minutes than a win after four hours. You're a GM on the ranking system, but you consider yourself somewhere between intermediate and expert. <laughs> Miranda says, I'm watching the stream on my Xbox and chat with my phone. I realize how delayed the stream is on my system. How delayed? What's up, Kristen? How you doing tonight? The turnips can be really boring. To play or to watch? Yeah, to watch. Yeah, I know that. I've noticed that. They are not popular. Hey, we got the Drew Curiosity rate. Oh, draw. Draw curiosity. Hello. Hello, guys. How are you? Welcome in, draw raiders. Were y'all playing some risk? How's everyone doing? Welcome in, Shaq. Welcome in, S Soft. Mr. Rudy Ritos. Hello, guys. You were not. What were you playing? 
Mateus? You built some Lego? That's that's beautiful. Oh, we're going into green. All right. Red is slamming into green. Wow. I was a bit of a Lego. F I was a bit of a Lego fan as a child. Does he know the cap is there? Yes, he does. Okay. Red pissed off two players in the same turn. Did I ever tell you, you chat as the, uh, the tale of the Peatman winning a Lego contest as a child? Would you like to guess what the pride, what the prize was? Lego contest, yes, sir. Yes, the prize was correct. The prize was more Lego. Hey! <laughs> that is that is the punchline of that story. All right, so red fucked me. <sighs> and then tried to stack on my castle. Probably wasn't really, probably wasn't very smart. It's red. Have a good game time for dinner. Thanks, man. Thank you so much for the raid. Mm. Hope you got cards. <laughs> he was generating 23 and then he hit me. Now he's generating 10. Oh, we got a 30. Let's go. We're at, we are at war. I had the vibrads just new. And he's not going to stop either, right? Red's not good enough to, to see that as a hint to maybe slow his roll. Yeah. No, he doesn't get it. Okay. How important do you think it is to know history? Very, very important. I mean, well, it depends on what you want, right? What do you want to do with your knowledge? It's also really good for orange because orange is going to get to generate a ton and stay out of this. Okay, so let's think this one through. Red's a total nublius maximus. How do I point him into another player? Is there a way to do that? The only way to do that is to abandon the position. Ah, poor green. Getting fucking ganked on either side. Does green die? And that was orange taking the green cap. Is the green kill on the table? Okay, so green's a cap stacker passer. Red's a super noob. Orange is like an opportunist expansionist. 
I think I lose the middle. I'm, enjoy I'm enjoying some vodka energy drink. I think I'm just going to smack this shit out of red again because it's fun. Red is so bad, though. He's not hitting orange is the question. Why isn't he hitting orange? Do I have cards? Huh, I wonder. Why did he move it from the Scandi cap? I'm not sure. Probably because... Because he's trying to hold, like, the noob corner or something. Red's like a bot. I know. Red is playing. Like, I understand how Red's playing. The, this, so my thought process here is honestly being pop, 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 fortify, and let Red take the middle and then get into war with Orange. The problem with that line of play is that pisses off Orange, um, and they break me. But I don't care anymore. Okay, no. Orange hitting red is good. Orange hitting red is great, actually. Orange hitting red is great. Because red can focus on someone else for a bit. All right, two positions still seems okay. Smackarina. No, we couldn't do the Smackarina. Couldn't do it. Uh, Puba says, Pete, if you sat down with a vampire who was 5,000 years old and lived through every major known and unknown event in history, what would you ask him? And what do you think his personality beliefs would be like? Uh, second question I couldn't even answer, right? It's That's like a singularity type question. How would I guess what their beliefs would be like? What they would know. They would know things that I don't know. So because I don't know them, they are invisible to me. So I can't construct a, or model a worldview based on things that I don't know. Um, but as far as what would I ask them? Did did Red quit? No. No, no, he's still here. Um, I think I would just sit down and ask them to tell me the story of their life. So I would ask them... Um, you know, where were you born? Who were your parents? Who were your friends? What do you believe? What are your values? All that stuff. Um, <laughs> I would ask them if vampires are real. What else? Is hey, how you doing? Onion, the onion prime, Orion, the Orion. Prime. You know, I still sometimes read it as onion. I think I need a new prescription. Kreskin would like to know if the singularity has already occurred and we just aren't aware yet. That's crazy. Like if it happened. We wouldn't know. <laughs> this kind of already somewhere. Oh no. I love peeling layers to make you cry. Onion Prime, leader of the Vegemite. I, I should do a good Optimus Prime impression. Okay, where's that going? Into green? Why? What has green done to you? Oh, my God. Poor green. Justice for green. Yeah. Or green. All right. Green getting slammed just for existing. <laughs> Don't worry, Orange. We got this guy. Oh, I missed a question. This is a question from Jen Big Stack. If you could predict the future, okay, how do you envision the future will look in 100 years for humans? Great question. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big proponent in the singularity theory. All right, well, you're going to hit the cap and stop. 
or not hit the cap, ideally, because it's a 60 cap, and you can't do that, right? You dumb bastard. Red is such a noob. Dude, that doesn't land, you stupid fuck! You're gonna lose all your troops! I hope you lose all your troops. He's like looking at the odds, he's like, wait, what? Yeah, that's right, fucko! These guys are donkulous. All right, the question is, if you could predict the future, how do you envision the future would look in 100 years for humans? Please give me your in-depth answer. Consider the impacts of AI, war, space, religion, pandemics, climate change. Great questions. That's a crazy question. I'm a uh, big proponent in singularity theory. Um, I'm currently reading Ray Kurzweil's most recent book, uh, The Singularity is Nearer, which is hilarious. Um, the basic premise, if I can boil it all down, is that... Hold on, let me play this turn. This guy didn't learn not to hit me the first time. I'm gonna remind him not to hit me again. Break everything you have, you stupid fuck. There's a 12 there. Okay. Um, the idea is that if you imagine the three technologies of AI, um, virtual reality, no, sorry, no, AI, nanotechnology, and genetic engineering as um, a synthesis, similar to the way the smartphone synthesizes personal computers, telecommunications, and the internet, you end up with a singularity, which is kind of like the um, the way a singularity, the word singularity is used in physics, right? Um, a black hole or something that you cannot see past. Um, red back down. Stop hitting me. So the idea is that the synthesis of those three technologies is a blind spot for us. We cannot see past it. We cannot really predict what the world will look like because it will be so transformative in just about every way. So the question is, what do I, if I would, if I were a futurist, what would I predict we see in 20, um, one 24. And my answer for you is that most people in 21, 24 will be living in a, almost completely digitized customizable reality similar to the matrix except they are god of that of their bespoke universe right and there would be some sort of shared hive mind that you could communicate with um good work orange Ooh, it's got 166 cap, this man. Um, so as nanotechnology improves, we will be able to replace the neurons in our brain with um, higher quality um, biological replicas and digital replicas. And then eventually we will start being able to upload our consciousness. And then I think the next step is we will hybridize our mutual consciousnesses with AI and with each other's consciousnesses. So we will be in a massive, artificially intelligent, all human hive mind if we wanted to be. Kind of like the great link from um, DS9. I don't think we'll be all dead. I think there there's a very realistic chance that... Um, many of us having this conversation right now will live to see our consciousness um, be uploaded into this sort of system. And then, you know, there's, there's no, 
biological limit to how long you could live in terms of actual years at that point. Um, as far as wars go, yeah. I think there will always be conflict. My hope would be that there would be less hot wars, right? There would be less people killing other people. Um, I think that ideally continues to stop happening more and more and more. Um, no way to know. One of the things I would hope to see would be, in addition to what human beings are consistently really great at, which is solving technical solutions for problems, I would also really love to see a way for solving the more equitable distribution problem you know, I'm not talking about true equity. We, we know we're, we're never going to get to true equity, and we know that that isn't even desirable. Um, all right, so orange isn't really helping. So because orange isn't really helping, did they just take a cap? Maybe that did help. Let me see what they did there. So what happens to me? So in, in 2124, I will be 141 years old. What part of my corporeal body will last? Will make it to that point? Probably none, right? So we're in a bit of a ship of Theseus problem. Um, at some point, your identity is beholden to um, the components of your being falling away and being more like the continuum, right? So the continual existence of the being that calls itself Pete would be how I would identify myself. Um, and I think that's good enough. That's good enough for me to call myself me, I guess. We've, we've fully switched now to the take a card and pass stage. That's fine. That's fine by me. We'll chill for a bit and see how this one goes. The artist formerly known as Pete. You think Orange is good enough card block red with me? No. No, I think Orange is being an opportunist. So my only hope to win this game is to stop fighting red, let red get massive, and then start suing into Orange, which I figure happens because Orange is holding board and I'm not. And red is a terrible, terrible player. He just card skipped. Yeah, he's just too dumb to even take a card, right? Congratulations, Red. Do you think SMG will finally patch balance list by then? My, uh, one of my most sincere hopes in the world would be that the whomever develops this game, be it SMG or other, but whomever develops this game actually plays it. Learns how to love the community, learns how to love the competitive scene. Play your game, right? If you're going to make this game, play it. You know, I really don't think that's too much ass. I think that's the bare fucking minimum. Given those thoughts on AI and consciousness, what do you think of the Fermi paradox? Um, I, I'm an optimist, so I don't like the idea that we are doomed. Okay, so one of the the things that the Fermi paradox postulates is the idea of the great filter. So there is this um, the reason extraterrestrial extraterrestrial intelligences haven't contacted us. One of the reasons could be is that the price of intelligent life is death, right? That we kill ourselves. Um, and that might be true, right? I'm happy to 
um, play with that thought. But frankly, I don't think it's particularly interesting to dwell on. So I don't. Um, I want to focus on the all of the future avenues in the decision tree where we thrive, or at least persist. <laughs> at least persist. Yeah, Kreskin is is illustrating the different possibilities. Fermi paradox could be we are first, so early in life, early in intelligent life specifically. The other is that the distance is too great, so the energy required to transmit the signal or to travel yourself would just be um, unfeasible or too expensive or that the window of radio communication is too short. Arkin says, in a world of pure equitable distribution, you would give up your... No, yeah, I'm not, I'm not advocating for that. I'm not advocating for that. I, 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 when, when this comes up, I talk about the, the Rawlsian decent minimum, right? So how would you equitably distribute the minimum, right? I would say something like, all humans deserve shelter, right? I don't think it's... It doesn't meet my ethical intuition, Arkin, that any human alive should... Um, should suffer from a lack of housing, right? There should be no homeless. That seems completely unacceptable. Um, so that's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that everyone should have a home of my quality or a fucking Bill Gates's, but I'm saying everyone should have a home, right? That's what I'm saying. Why do you choose to spend time on philosophy instead of science? Because um, I'm not good at math, Pat. I'm weak at math. I'm very weak at math, in fact. People are often surprised by this. I'm, I'm terrible at precise enough arithmetic to do anything quickly. I'm good with numbers intuitively, and I can do, I can do ratios and probability fairly quickly, but I can't calculate with a, with a necessary level of precision fast enough. So I, I would be a shitty scientist because it would take me forever. And I can't read fast either. I can listen. So it's hard for me to do anything that sort of way you know i like I'm, I'm extremely open so i like talking about ideas and what could be and i think orange and red are now hitting each other pete just ended a game where the person was teaming with me against the higher power Stop teaming with me. So I had to sue out and, instead of get second. Any tips on getting first? No, sometimes that's the right thing to do. Second is often fine. Second is often fine. Open my cap again, you stupid fuck. Good job. Red is so terrible. Oh, my God. I think I understand the fundamentals of physics. You know, as far as providing examples, like, I, th we're playing a video game right now. I, d I can't bring up graphs and illustrate what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm a visual person, right? So if I had the, the graph of any sort of f physical uh, scientific thing, then I could describe what the fuck we're talking about. I think I understand the principles of physics. I'm pretty good, like, knowledge-wise. Knowledge I have a great memory, so... My thinking is holistic, right? I'm interested in philosophy. I'm interested in history. I'm interested in science. I'm reasonably good at all that stuff, but I wouldn't ever deign to call myself a scientist because I can't do the math part. So what I try to do is I try to like synthesize all of these different disciplines. And, and philosophy was the mother discipline from whence all others came. When did these guys start hitting each other?
That's okay. They will provide me the opportunity to have these interesting conversations with you guys. Hey, cool. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Okay, so orange has just beat the shit out of red. <laughs> He's blowing through a hundred. There's a cap there or a stack? Is that where the other cap is? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where the other cap is. Okay. It's there. That's why he fortified to it. It's in Brittany. On your weekend holiday? Fuck yeah, buddy. Nice to see you around. Red suddenly uh, learned how to move fast, folks. Did you see that shit? That seemed pretty sus. That was just a stack. Well, no, it could have. Um... Oh, I see what you mean. Huh. Hmm. Well, I would like to know where the cap is, so. I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a cap there. Well, let's find out. Yeah, there is a cap there. There's two caps there. There's two caps there. We found all the caps. 
One, two. There's neighbor caps. Three, four, five, and six. Took me a while to f figure that out. Hmm. Okay. That's far less, uh, Troops than I was expecting to see. Yeah, Red sacrificed half his troops. It's crazy. Yeah, we're playing true random, right? Caps defend normally <laughs> or more normally. <laughs> Man, why do they extend the song out to fucking nine minute video? Just give me the song. Good job.
I was so close to having this fucking guy. Fuck. That's so frustrating. I had that kill. <laughs> I had that fucking kill. God damn it. I had that fucking kill. Fuck. Five card fucking kill. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Why does Orange have so much off cap? He's trying to fucking block this guy from breaking his bonuses. This guy has been incessantly breaking bonuses, right? Come on, Orange. Don't let him generate anything. He's garbage. That's not what I wanted to see. I'm just sick of him. I'm sick of this guy. He's so bad. <laughs> like, I'm happy to take second and fucking give him third, you know? How does it feel to get teamed on, Red? Feels bad, right? You don't like it? Feels bad, right? You don't like it? Excellent. Yeah, orange has three caps. So the caps are the red one you can see, the orange one you can see, and two orange caps in France that are next to each other. You thought it was going to be less than that? <laughs> Yeah.
Okay. You know, it's very, Pete is very refreshing to see someone with high viewership actually read chat. What do you mean? It's right now you guys are talking about like really complex stuff, like the Drake equation and like, I can't read that all out, but I want to, I just, you know, I also have to try to win the game. It's, it's it requires a lot of attention. Did you think that one was going to be weak? Dude, you're the weak link. Sue out. Lose bag. What did you think was gonna, you were going to see, man? Pete Philosophy Chat is always fun. I have fun, too. <laughs> All right. You want to card block this guy, Red? He took, he's taking his cap cards, right? Let's see if Orange wants to try that, then. He, he fucking sucks. This guy will definitely be susceptible to being card blocked. I think I already fucked up. Yeah, I already fucked up. point of that okay Hothgore says hey Pete I'm sick and feeling sorry for myself but for a moment I felt way better seeing you were doing a live stream I can catch love watching your content love to you man don't feel sorry for yourself do something about it Live your live your wonderful life with us here, you know? Life is so beautiful. We should all be so lucky. Oh, fuck. Ah, the misclicking. The misclicking is bad. We got we to gotta recombobulate, folks. What are snowflake icons? Snowflake icons are blizzards. So these territories are fully blocked. They're treated like they don't exist. How do I convince red to sue into orange? Huapa. Huapa. Get it. Take that cap. You know you want to.
<laughs> Crescent says, one thing I love is that you attract people who are able to have these really interesting conversations. You know what's funny, man? I, I wish I... Maybe I'm greedy, but I wish for way, way more of that, though. I wish for way, way more of that. I love open conversations. You know, I love talking about ideas. It's my very, very favorite thing in the world. So, yeah, perhaps I attract it because it's, you know, to my core who I am. I try not to identify too strongly with any belief or idea, you know. I try to evaluate it on its merits, the good, the bad, and everything in between. I've gone through worse than you. What do you what do you mean? You think I've suffered a lot in my life? Perhaps. In some ways, I wouldn't say worse though. I've suffered differently than you. Right? It's not a it's not a contest. You gone through worse moments in chat than are filling it up? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I it was a it was a gradual build for me, right? I learned that uh the progression of more and more chat. Please hit me. Please sue. Just sue out. Just do it. You fucking caveman. this guy getting a turn i know he opened my cab orange getting away with fucking murder no, i'm not doing anything now i'm just gonna i'm gonna relax and talk to you guys and let him suicide into orange for me this guy has a somewhat of a short view so i should stop I should stop playing interesting. I should just play the most boring strategy possible. The one that will win me the game. SS Orm says, one of my friends is studying orange, origins of life. How do chemical polymers form life? Uh, you could come up with some probabilistic model for the likelihood of life developing on certain types of planets. Um, I do not know if we are there yet, but it seems possible. Yeah, absolutely. It's all chemistry, right? My, uh, my sister is a um, biomedical engineering PhD. Her... Um, uh, her master's degree was in knee cartilage tissue. She's a tissue engineer. And her um, PhD was in heart valves. So I, I went down to the high-tech fucking state-of-the-art lab in downtown Toronto where they're growing heart valve tissue in a nutrient bath with a pulse. It's like the trippiest fucking thing. But, like, the idea of life extension technology being quackery or alchemism or pseudoscience is like, no, man. I, you know a person extremely close to me is, you know, actively involved in that field right now. And, you know, she's very intelligent and she's very hardworking. And I can only imagine there are very many, very intelligent, very hardworking people trying to solve this technical problem. And as I said earlier, right, human beings are very, very good at solving technical problems. Would I want to live forever? No, but you wouldn't have to, right? I would just want to be in control of when it ends. A little bit more than I am now. I'm incredibly tempted to make a Pete's sister joke. Don't do it, Arkin. St keep it classy, sir. <laughs> keep it classy. 
The problem with Red is Red's too dumb to know how to progress the game. So me fighting him is is also dumb. I'll just let him fucking progress it into a fucking orange. And then I clean it up. What happened, Corbina? You just had the two worst weeks of your life? That fucking sucks. What happened? You don't have to share, but, like, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Technically, you're in control when it ends. If you want to end it sooner, I, I laugh because I take what you're saying as a joke. Maybe you didn't mean it as a joke, but you're technically correct is always the best guy to correct. <laughs> Lol. I'm drinking a little uh, vodka energy drink. Ooh, that stack's moving. With red on five? The Stephen Baxter novels, Flood, Arc, Landfall, deal with the Drake equation from a meta perspective. In the book, there is some kind of phase change on terrestrial planets where the stone, the stored heat and pressure, certain water-bearing water minerals reaches a critical threshold and all releases, flooding the planet. Humanity colonizes two and then eventually dozens of planets, and they find something 99% of all formerly rocky planets end up as water worlds. And that's why we don't find intelligent aliens. Huh. How much of that is science versus fiction? I'm sorry to hear that you're grieving, Corbina. It's rough. It's rough when we lose those we love and have to face their loss. All right, I think we're going to uh, we're going to chill out on the Michael after this one. We had to get our water somehow. I used to think it came from comets. Turns out that's not correct. We found an underground sea of water, three times as much water trapped. On the surface of the planet, an underground mineral ocean. So maybe we had one transition of this. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't presume to know. This is the vibe. What is something you were grateful for from the last week or month or year? Uh, what happened in the last week? Huh. So last, last week, on Wednesday, I went downtown to have dinner with some friends. And I'm grateful that I said yes. So these guys I've been friends with 
we most of us have been friends since kindergarten and by random coincidence this is red suiciding by the way by random coincidence another friend of ours from our elementary school was downtown at that restaurant and i'm grateful for that i'm grateful for lifelong friendships it means a lot to me these guys matter um my friends matter. I try to show them. And I wonder if I've been as good of a friend as I could be. Because I've been very busy. You know, the process of, you know, getting divorced and completely reinventing my my career. And I wonder if I'm a shitty friend these days. If I'm not saying yes to enough things. Or maybe they're just not being offered because we're all fucking 40. And half of these guys have kids and, you know, crazy busy lives and whatnot, right? That was a sue out. We're in a 1v1. Oh, that wasn't Sue out at all. You suck. I was hoping he was done. Okay. Something I'm grateful for from the last... <laughs> month again why rely on the memory Ooh, easy um my buddy um in his kindness offers us a chance to come up to his family cottage once a year this year it's been twice um and some interesting people again friends right interesting people to hang out with to sit with to talk to and to now know them for years and years and years. And they all, again, have families um, watching their kids grow, learning who they are, you know, spending good times in nature, the fresh air, canoeing, realizing how shitty my back was from the canoe. Um, that realization was super interesting because um, it was a reminder to me to take my fucking health seriously. Are we killing Red? Please, please tell me we're killing Red. Please tell me we're killing Red. Yeah, so that was that was cool from the last month. Um, as far as the last year goes, you know, my girl moved in in uh, in April, and I'm very hopeful that I can learn from my mistakes in my past, um, and you know, maybe end up in the process of creating a family of my own. Fingers crossed, right? We hope. Man, am I ever glad this guy's fucking dead. <sighs> Good game, bro. Huh. 
So yeah, friends. You know? Friends and family. The things that actually matter. Your fucking friends and your fucking family. Hey, good game, brother. What a game, huh? That's the stuff. Yeah, man. Do you like my answers, Kraskin? Oh, he bought. It's interesting. He's botting out. <laughs> Not even a step off. A bought out. Wow. And pets. Yeah, well, they're... Fa I, I count pets and family. F pets are fully inside of the family category. Holy shit. Holy shit. Demonic. 20 gifted subs. Get out of here. If my rebel 17-year-old self would tell me that at almost 40, my idea of a good time is... Some mid buds seltzer and some late night wrist pro would be my highlights. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You say Scandy you say Scandy Cap is clear, you say. Indeed it is. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Seems how he bought it. There's no reason for me to not clean this one up. I'm surprised I won this game. It it, it really didn't think it really didn't seem like I was gonna win this game for a while. I love that the, the that you took the time to honestly consider it. I have a policy, man, that if people are gonna ask me good faith, interesting, sincere questions, why wouldn't I want to answer that? It's so weird to me that like the type of strange reactions I get when I, like, have an unorthodox take to an idea. But I don't give a shit to fucking preach. I'm just answering a question. I'm not sitting here saying, watch my show because I'm going to talk about politics. Or I'm going to talk about this. Or I'm going to talk about that. No, I'm just answering a question. I'm in service to the asker. And it is an honor um, to have one's voice feel value. It really is. I think we got this now. That feels pretty good, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this game. And if you did, and you liked it, give me a like! I like you, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. I like you. I want to hang out with you. I want to sit here, have a good time with my friends. Send out the good vibes. Thank you so much again to Demonic for the 20 gifted subs. That's super generous. Uh, defeating three beginners, four beginners, and an expert in general, Buttery. Yeah, we, no shocker, Jeeves was. Hey, listen. Javis, let me just say one thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me just say one thing. It's not all about bonuses. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, good luck.